in the middleweight division at UFC Atlantic City. You got a big one. Andre Petrosky, 10 and 3. Versus Jacob Malkoon, 7 and 3. Don't let the records fool you. Stick with me on this one. They've got some good competition leading up to this fight. Petrosky, 3 inches taller at 6 feet. He's 32. Malkoon, 28. Both 73 inch reach. Petrosky, switch stance fighter. Malkoon stands right handed. Both guys in like the middle threes in significant strikes per minute. So equal there. Malkoon lands two takedowns per round in like 23 in the last four fights. It's ridiculous. Petrosky, no stranger to the ground either, landing a takedown and a half per round. So Malkoon really hasn't had to defend too many takedowns. So we have nothing on his takedown defense. Petrosky, 71%. But he did lose his last fight to Mikel Pereira by KO. But before that, he beat Gerald Mearshart. Good fighter. Split decision. That helps. Wellington Terman by decision. Also beat uh, Nick Maximal by submission. So decent resume. Unfortunate loss to Mikel Pereira. Now Makun had a DQ against Cody Brundage, but before that he beat Nick Maximal by decision. Lost to Brendan Lee, or Brendan Allen, excuse me, uh, by decision, but he had seven takedowns against Brendan Allen. Just trailed 45 to 33 in significant strikes. He beat A.J. Dobson and Abdul Razak Al-Hassan. Oh my goodness. Two really good fighters here, but I got to lean towards Jacob Malkoon. It's hard to believe he's just 7-3. and three. You look at some of his fights, very tough, and it's hard to go up against a guy that beat Gerald Mearshart because that's always a tough out. But I like Malkoon on the takedown game here in control. He gets a lot of takedowns. The strike game is going to be interesting here. That could make or break the fight, but Malkoon will certainly get a lot of control time and take down despite the 71% takedown defense of Petrosky. So I lean to Jacob Malkoon to win this fight by decision. He learned his lesson coming in here in the middleweight division at UFC Atlantic City.